Everyone, it's Rainy here from Witchcraft You Do, and today I wanted to show you a new digital we have in the shop and make a little project with them. Um, I won't show you the whole digital because, as you can see, it's got quite a lot of pages in. But just uh, to give you an idea, what's in this is uh, Mushroom Ephe Ephemera Collection Set One, and so it's got a lot of imagery in lots of different sizes. So this is the big size, and then. Head. Right, and then it's down to this size, and then this size, and just keeps getting smaller. And again. And then tiny. Also got these stamps. And also uh, stamps with like with a like a envelope coloured, you know, those manila envelope coloured backgrounds with some postmarks and without the postmarks. So that's that set. But then we also have uh, this other set which is basically Fussy cut mushrooms in lots of different uh, colours and uh, designs. So lots of pages of this. I'll pop the links to both of these down in the description box in case you'd like to take a closer look. Uh, this set also comes with uh, like these little grassy bits so you can build your own little mushroom scene. Which I've been really enjoying. So that's enough of that. I want to show you what I've been making with it and then we'll make one together. So I've made a couple of these little uh, booklets I suppose um, and each one's different but I've decorated each page with something mushroom flavoured, maybe a little pocket or a tag and I've been having a lot of fun with these. And the, these are using the new digitals. Oops. And I think I'll make one together. All right, let's begin. So first I'm going to pick a cover and I've chosen this one. I'm going to make them small like I did these ones just because I'm enjoying this size at the moment. Uh, but there's no reason why you have to cut it down. You can keep it uh, large. I'm just going to start by folding it along the halfway mark, like that. And I'm going to cut off the outer edge. Now I'm going to try and cut it uh, probably using my mat to make sure I'm going to cut it straight just above this butterfly here which I think should make it just below the one on the other side so cut like that check it out yep that works perfect all right, now I've printed this a 120 GSM paper, but I'm going to want the, the cover to be a bit thicker, so I'm going to just glue something on the inside, maybe a piece of tea dyed paper. Let me see what. I'm... All right, I've got this pretty plainish looking tea dyed paper, and I'm just going to glue it on there. So glue stick all over. I could have printed it on a thicker card. But sometimes I don't want to use it as a cover and if I start off with it thin, I've got more options. There we go. 
and oops, it's going to press that down. Not there. Get a glue on the wrong side. Good at doing that. Alright, I'm just going to pop that under my mat so that can be drying flat while we work on some pages. Actually, before I take it away to work on some pages, I need some blank paper. Alright, so this is 100 GSM, so it's slightly thicker than regular copy paper, but these ones I did use just regular copy paper. And the reason I want to use a little bit thicker is I'm hoping that the inking won't show through the page as much because I can see... Uh, the inkings uh, through the page on some of these. So let's give this a try. Now I'm going to get one piece and I'm going to fold my piece of paper in half like this and I want to put it up on top of the piece I've cut and mark where, oops, hello Larry, the bottom of the page is there. Careful, sweetheart. Alright, and I'm just going to pop this under my mat so it can start drying flat. You're going to sit on the, right in the middle, right in the middle. That's where you belong, isn't it? All right, let's see if your letters work. I need to line this up so I'm making a straight cut. So that looks like it's about 15 centimetres on my board. Watch the pauses. Watch the pauses. I've got a sharp knife. No! Sharp knife. All right. Uh, cuddle first, then cutting. All right. Larry and Puggy are eating. So I'm just going to trim this at the mark. Like this. And I'll keep that for another project. No point in wasting good paper. And I'm going to cut another two pages this same size. So I'm only going to put three pages in this booklet, but you can put as many as you like in yours. I'll just get those cut and I'll be right back. Right, now I have those three pages cut. I want to do a little inking. So I'm just going to get a piece of paper. And I'm using a light brown, so this vintage photo, and this domed tool. It looks like it needs replacing, but oh, we'd still go ahead with it for this one. And I'm just going to lightly go around the edges on all the pages inside and out. So that's the front, back, and fold and do the other side as well. And once you've done that on all the pages, I'm going to go over it with this darker brown around the edges. Now, in true not thinking with brain cells fashion, I managed to re-ink this brown ink pad with black the other day, so it's probably a bit darker uh, than it usually is, but it's working okay, so we'll pretend that never happened. And both sides. Oh, how have I managed not to light brown that one? Light brown. As you can see, the brain is still on vacation. Okay, and finish dark brown. That. 
definitely need to replace these ink pads. They've uh, got a little mess on my page. That's all right. By ink pads, I meant the little foam tools. You can see bits of them all over the paper. Time to replace. Right, I think I did all of them. Larry, you're back. I'll do the other two and I'll be back in a minute. Right, I've now got the uh, three page pieces and the cover's dry enough that I'm going to cut that out now, but I'm going to cut it with scissors because I don't want to accidentally tear it. And I tend to do that when I cut things with my knife because either it's still a bit damp or the blade's a bit blunt or... Larry, always with the, when I'm doing the sharp stuff, and you're standing on the craft. <sighs> How about if I get you a box? You sit in a box? You're going to sit right in the middle. All right, we'll try and work around Larry's legs, but if he gets in the way too much, we might have to move him. Fold this in half. Sorry, did that tickle? That tickle the toesies. And I changed the um, foam pieces on the ink pad so I'm gonna give this some of the oh, dark ink around the edges inside and out Okay. Alright, so pages are going to go in it themselves. But I'm going to leave them overhanging like this. And uh, it's because I think it looks cool when you've got a little bit of the inking and stuff hanging out like that. So, I'm going to start decorating by using uh, some of these bits we cut off. So, I'll make a pocket with this bit. Yep, and I'm going to use oh, this circle punch. Let's make sure it's going to fit perfectly. Yep, it's good. I want to find the middle. Watch your footsies, Larry. Middle. In. Mark the middle. So I can punch out a little half circle, or a bit less than a half circle, more dark brown inking, sorry if I'm working off camera but my prime area seems to be occupied, alright I'll see if I can arrange this a little better so I am working a bit better on camera, alright footsies up, This isn't going to work, Larry. Footsies are right in the way. I'm going to see if I can get him a box. Alright, Larry is now in the tub. Let's see if I can show you Larry in the tub. Larry, oh, in the tub. Is that back to normal? There we go. Oh, it will do. Okay, 
let us continue. Right, I need a bit of ink, uh, not ink, I need a bit of glue. Very fur. Glue down the edge, along the bottom, up the side. And I'm going to place that down there, like that. Make sure that still shuts. Yep, all good. Right, pocket. Yes, Larry. Alrighty, so uh, I'm going to hide, I'm not going to plan each page as I go, I'm just going to create and then when I finish them at the end I'll decide which order I want to put them in. So this one here, because I've got a mark on it, I want to cover that, I don't want to see it. I might use this other strip to make a sort of side pocket piece or I could get uh, one of the other images. Oh, I like this one. So my plan is, let's cut this image out first. And I'm going to, I could use the whole image and make a sort of deep pocket, but because this is on the outer edge of a page, I don't want it that deep. It will be pain to get in and out of. So I plan to cut this image right beside this label here. Line it up. Knife. Like that. Now I've kind of got two pockets or two side pockets out of this. I've got this one here with the mushrooms and this one with the label and the flowers. And I like them both. But because it's on the edge of a page, uh, I'm going to use the slightly thinner one. But I'm going to mount it on another piece of paper. And these bits that we cut off before are going to be perfect. So I'm just going to take one of these. And a little bit of losing all of my stuff. Larry, what have you done with everything? I'm going to take this and my light brown. And light brown all the edgy parts light brown okay and dark brown the edge of this I want there to be an even amount of the whitey brown around the edge. So I'm going to put some glue on the back of this image. Like this. And place it so it's got that even amount. Oops. We'll try to place it like it's got that even amount. Not always successfully. And then I'm going to find what I've done with the ruler. Ah. Mm -hmm. And give that a straight cut.
now because I haven't really put that image straight in there it's a bit on an angle I might fix that oh, I don't think it'll actually be that bad I just need to trim a little more off this side I think try that I need to get rid of that blade everything needs replacing Oh, that didn't tear off where it was supposed to. Oh, well. <sighs> Buy from the $2 shop. Get the $2 shop quality. Alright. Now, I'm going to have to take a bit more off this side too. Ah. Wouldn't be the first time I've cut too much off until the point that I have to start again. Will it look daft if we make it shorter? I don't think it will. I'm just going to match. I'm just going to do it with scissors. Scissors straight. Scissors straight. Alright. Dark edge. That's going to bug me. Scissors fix that straightness. Five hours later. This is why Carrie calls me pedantic, I think. It will do. Alright. Bit of dark on the edge. And that's what we'll put that there. Little bit of glue on the bottom up here. Like here. Like that. And let's place that. Also use this one. Maybe I should put it on the cover because it's the same width and because I'm going to have pages it won't actually be two pockets on the same page. I think that might be the best plan. Let's do that. in here. Now I have pre-cut out a bunch of the mushrooms, the fussy cut mushrooms, but I cheated and used a uh, scan and cut. I'm going to pick a couple of mushrooms that I like. Alright, so I've picked these two mushrooms and I've inked the edges of them and I'm just going to get a glue paper Glue on the back of the big one. The glue is dry. Place it here. And then a bit of glue on the back of the smaller one. Slightly overlapping the bigger one. That. Then I'm going to pick some of these grassy pieces. Yep, this one will do. Bit of ink. Like that. And trim off the overhang. And I'll do one on the opposite corner as well. 
these two mushrooms will never go well. Like that. Maybe what the heavy might be on a angle. Anyway, bit of black on the edge. Ink. And a bit of one. Might have him kind of coming off at a bit of a angle like that. And maybe just a bit of green like that. Is that the one I want? Maybe this one. Yep, I like that one better. I'm doing this, I'm doing it all off camera, aren't I? Like a dodo. So I've picked this one. And just pop it on like that and trim off the overhang. That. Yeah, we got a couple of mushrooms there. So now I'm going to using my mat to help me guide where I want my lines to be. I'm going to use a black pen and I'm just going to mark lines on my page. But I'm going to lift the pen every so often because I like the look of like a broken line. I'm doing them about a centimetre apart using my cutting mat as a guide. both those pages and I want to just finishing it, finish it off by doing a little stamping around the edges and I'm just going to use the um, stamps from the documented stamp set. consider those two done and time to do this side yep I like him let's ink the edges and this one has its own grass so I'm just going to trim the bottom straight so I can sit it right up against the edge of the page like that The ones that are these size I think are perfect size to make tickets. So I'm just going to trim off a strip and I'm going to fold it in half and again and again. And I have a little uh, small hole punch. Where are you? That I have lost there. I believe it's a centimetre, but I might be wrong. And it came as part of a set. But I like it because it's got little marks on the sides. So I can uh, get it in the same place each time. So I'm going to use it on... 
each corner. And press. Okay. So now I have a row of tickets. I could use it like that, but I just want one for right now. I'm going to take this bottom one. Ink the edge. And I'm going to stick that up in that corner there. And just on a bit of an angle like that. Alright, I'm going to do the line thing again. Okay, and some stamping. Just like that. And I'm going to move on to the next page. postage stamp sheet and I have salvaged from one of my uh, cling wraps from the kitchen this tear off um, piece I've basically cut off two sides of the box and glued them together so it's nice and thick and sturdy and I'm going to use that to give my stamps more of a perforated edge when I tear them out I don't know if you can see that. Oh, hold on, I'll see if I can get it, the camera to focus on it. So it's got this perforated edge. Which I really like. So I'm just going to tear out some stamps. See on this side that my ink got a little bit excited, so I'm going to disguise that with a little butterfly, I think. So the red butterfly, the one, put him up there, that over there, and that will hide that little mark a bit. <laughs>
right, so we've finished all our pages. Um, so what's left to do is decide which... Uh, Larry, you're back again. Hang on, here's your tub. Here's your tub. All right, you sit over there. I'll leave the tub there in case he moves. Uh, all we have left to do is decide um, which order we want the pages to be in. So... All right, let's look through that, see if we're happy. Larry? All right, I'm happy with that. So I'm just going to stitch that in with some cotton and straight through approximately the middle. Leaving a bit of a tail. Now I'm going to poke from this side the next hole so it's easier to come back through the other side, having already made the hole. Like that. And then I'm going to go one more up near the top, like that. Back through the next. See what I'm doing? Back through the middle. And then I'm going to make another hole from this side, but push it through from the back. And then I'm going to go under this cotton loop like that and tie off one this way, one this way, and a third one the other way again. stitched in. Let's poke some stuff in our pockets. fun making stuff with this digi. I know I'm in love with it at the moment. I can't stop making things. Hence my tray of all these things I've been making. So um, uh, if I'll have all the uh, I'll have all the links in the description box. So go and take a peek at the digi. See if it's something you're uh, interested in. 
and uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.